Hola, hello, всем привет. And today we have a video about Notion and artificial intelligence. And I guess everybody is a little bit sick uh, hearing this words AI. But today I'll share with you some of my secrets and tips how to actually use it for learning the foreign languages. And in this video we'll be talking about German language and my study plan how I make it with Notion and how I make the most of it to structureize and uh, plan my summer learning German. I would first love to emphasize that Notion Planner actually makes learning of German very independent, accessible and very enjoyable. What else do you need to learn language on your own? And if you want more of these videos that would be a little bit of self-study guide for you, please hit the subscribe button and like button, because it's the way to support me. And let's start. So Notion, the app and the desktop app, I have been using for over three years now. I love using a one-month planning cycle for Notion and in the beginning of every month I reset all my tables, columns and sections and give it a new start. It helps me keep everything fresh and manageable. So let's actually dive into my Notion template. I'll show you everything around. So as you can see, grammar is the backbone of my study plan. I pick eight grammar topics each month. Um, that means two topics per week. This pace feels realistic and actually keeps me motivated to keep going. You can find this um, grammatic topics either in open online resources or in some student's book. That's what I usually was doing with my student's book, Begegnungen. So in this case, artificial intelligence can actually um, play an important role because we all know and use ChatGPT. So what you can do is that you can ask it to create the grammar exercises for the specific topic. So for example, you can ask, please create three grammar exercises to practice uh, passive voice in German um, and connect it to topic of fashion, for example. Why would we connect it to some topic, you would ask? because the next step for us is to expand your vocabulary. As you can see here, I have uh, some of the topics that I like and I picked some and these are also aligned with grammar topics, so I focus on eight topics that resonate with me. I have my own personal interests, you might have your own, uh, so there is nothing better than just to ask yourself what do you want to learn more about and being able to speak in German about. So as you can see, to make learning dynamic, I actually integrate podcasts, videos and German articles that fit into my monthly themes. And always remember that better than just passive listening or reading can only be the active listening or reading, which means that you are writing down, jotting down new phrases, new words that you hear and would love to add to your own vocabulary. That's why in the end of each tema, topic, uh, you can see the vocabulary list. It's actually synchronized uh, in each of eight topics. And actually in the very end of this Notion template, you can see the full list of vocabulary that you are learning or have already acquired within this uh, period of time. So as we build up vocabulary and grammar practice, we have the most important part that cannot be skipped ever, which is practice. And this practice of speaking and writing is basically where this magic happens. I'm always trying to be intuitive and ask myself uh, what is my current priority, whether I want to speak more fluently and I need the, to practice this, or I want to write more confident and make less grammar vocabulary mistakes. And navigating from all these points, I can just ask artificial intelligence, ChatGPT or any other ones that you use, to actually generate a couple of creative tasks for you to practice, 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 practice this grammar and vocabulary that you have learned. And since you make it all about yourself, you can also pick and choose so if you want to write an essay, if you want to read a small article and write a review about it, or you can just give an oral report so about some kind of interesting scientific topic that you are into currently. 
one of my favorite and uh, in my opinion the most important sections that I added into my notion is the mistakes database. And I always try to lock every single mistake I make, uh, just not to make the same mistake twice because it used to be a problem for me. But reviewing them uh, regularly would help you to get rid of all these mistakes. The next thing is definitely something everybody has heard about but might not have tried and I think it's super important to mention again is shadowing. And not just shadowing but daily practice of shadowing, especially if you are, for example, a native English speaker, you might experience some problems with pronunciation of such sounds as s, sh, z. So we need them all and we need extra practice every day. That's why I created this checklist for everyday shadowing process so you can track your progress. I really noticed that this learning tempo is very balanced and well thought uh, because I would start on Monday with grammar um, of a certain topic then the next day I would add vocabulary to that, maybe listen to podcast or video, audio. On the third day I would definitely finish up with uh, gathering all the new vocabulary I have seen and uh, practicing as much as I can. And then you can either take the break for on Thursday or just keep studying until Sunday and usually Sunday is my day off. Notion itself as an app also has uh, some AI tools and features, but um, old school I just prefer ChatGPT and use that. Uh, that's basically everything I need. I'm happy to share this Notion template with you for no cost, no charge. Uh, I wish you all the best and I hope you'll be able to acquire German language as fast as you can uh, with my structured and nice uh, Notion templates. I wish you to enjoy the summer, but still be quite productive to listen and learn the languages because it's a lot of fun, it's an interesting journey. And don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next video! <laughs>